let's dive into this once and for all. Let's talk about Americans' hatred for Barack Obama's policies versus your hatred for Barack Obama. I think you can distinguish between the two, can you not? I think you can hate what somebody has done, but you can't, you don't necessarily translate that into hating the person because after all, you don't really know the person. That's like hating somebody you see on TV. You don't hate the person. It's like hating a talk radio host. You don't hate me. You may not agree with me. You may disagree with me frequently. You may think you hate me, but the truth of the matter is you don't know me. You may think you know me. You know me from the hours I spend with you every day on the radio, but you don't really know me. How do you hate somebody you don't know? But back to the question of, of Bill's Talking Points memo and the discussion I had last night uh, on, on O'Reilly's show. Do you hate Obama personally? Do you think that, that we've crossed the line, all of us sort of collectively, with our criticism of Barack Obama? Do you think we've smeared him? Bill kept bringing up the, uh, the uh, people who think that Obama is a Muslim. And as I said last night on TV, make no mistake, many people think he's a Muslim. And guess what? You're allowed to think that. You're allowed to think I'm a Muslim if you want to. Who's anybody to tell you you can't be of the opinion that Mike Gallagher is a secret Muslim? And I can assure you, if I said and did some of the things that Barack Obama has done, you might think I'm a Muslim. You get to think that. I mean, all of us work in this area of free speech. So to tell somebody they can't have an opinion that Barack Obama is a Muslim is absurd. And incidentally, does thinking Barack Obama is a Muslim make you hate him? No. That's a false premise. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a premise that's incorrect to begin with.